But there is another lesson to learn from all of this. And it's a very difficult lesson. It's a very tough lesson. The heroic stand of the Palestinian people, the entire world witnessed the Palestinian people lose everything. And what they consistently hold on to is simply Alhamdulillah. None of the violence and the ugliness and the sheer horror shakes their relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so I've seen so many videos of people who are absolutely bewildered by the strength and heroism of the Palestinian people. And even people who started reading the Quran to understand where does this strength come from? How could it be that people who don't even have painkillers or even the most basic elements to save the life of the injured continue saying, Alhamdulillah, we are with Allah. We do not doubt Allah. This points to one of the most difficult lessons of history. Remember, Christians were persecuted for over 300 years in the Roman Empire after the death of Christ. Christians were persecuted for over 300 years until came along a Roman emperor who happened to have a wife, who happened to become Christian and convinced her husband that Christianity would be good for his imperial rule. So, Suddenly, the fortunes of Christianity changes. But during the course of these 300 years plus, what upheld the Christian message was numerous stories of sacrifice and heroism. Not military victories not conquering and vanquishing, but sheer strength and resilience and faith before adversity. With the Israelis, and mind you, nations take hundreds of years to rise People, subjugated people, take hundreds of years to overthrow the woke of subjugation. The worst thing, the greatest betrayal any Muslim can commit is just because it's been 70 years is to despair in your Lord. To say, why is God allowing this misery, this travesty to happen? Maybe when Muslims get to the point where they can truly testify as to the truth of God, like the testimony I just gave, when they can look back to their oppressors right in the eye and say, you have a fundamental contradiction, an axiom, a paradox in your consciousness. We are not the people who are 
flawed. We are not the people who somehow need fixing. You need to take a deep look into yourself because of your racism, because of your genocidal ethic against the outsider, not us. Maybe when we get to this point, everything will change. Maybe we will start getting on the ascending line of overthrowing of subjugation and our oppression. But in the meanwhile, all is lost if you don't pay very careful attention to the real victory of the Palestinians. As far as I'm concerned, the Palestinians are, have already won this war. They won the war not because of the number of Israelis they kill. They won the war of morality and ethics through their sheer strength, through their sheer resilience. I am telling you that the power and strength of Palestinians will indeed be the door through which many people will come to Islam. And if Muslims understand the ethical and moral lesson well, this victory can become truly the downfall in due time of the racist regime and racist ideology in Israel. History is not just the story of the powerful and the conqueror and the conquered. History is often the story of the heroes. Those who break what is the norm and what is anticipated, expected of human weakness and display feats of superhumanity. The heroism of the Palestinian people is like a true game changer in everything. If Muslims can learn the lesson well and can absorb what God is telling us through the testimony of history and the dynamics of history itself, 